Hey everybody, Memphis J here from Black and Tan Media. I got a quick DaVinci Resolve tutorial here in the testing ground, working on some stuff, and I got a quick tutorial on how to do some speeding up and slowing down a video, change your clip speed. It's the right way to say it in DaVinci Resolve. So if you've got a clip, click on it, right click, and go to change clip speed right here. Bam, change clip speed. The way this menu works, you've got speeds, 100% is what it starts out on, you've got your frames per second will be displayed, then the duration of your clip, you've got keyframes down here, maintain timing and a stretched fit, you've also got a ripple sequence, reverse speed, that's how you reverse a clip, then freeze frame if you want to do that here, and pitch correction if you've got that enabled. So, if you want to speed up, then you need to raise the speed the percentage of the speed. If you want to slow down, then you need to lower it. To do that, we click on the numbers here. We want to lower it. We click on it and go to the left, and it lowers it. That would slow it down. Click on it and go to the right, and that will speed it up. So let's click it up to, I don't know, let's just go fast here. 386 something. See how that changes this speed. being a little laggy. Let's see if it does a little smoother there. As you can see, that's much, much faster than it started out. I'll go back to clip. And if you ever want to bring it back, you just click on speed here. Speed takes it back to 100%. And if you notice, as you change this, it's changing your frames per second. So you can see, as you start slowing down, you get really, really slow here. You know, it's only got a few frames per second, so that may get choppier. Um, if you don't have a higher FPS on your video footage. So, anyway, that's the short and sweet, simple version of how to change clip speed. So, you can change whether you want to stretch to fit. You can also maintain timing. That's something you're going to want to play with as you get to know the program better because it does uh, change it. Stretch to fit will stretch the footage, maintain timing. If we change that, it will shorten the clip to be as long. So let's check out the more in-depth way to deal with speed within DaVinci Resolve. We'll go to this clip here, Unique 11. Watch it real quick. This is a clip of me flying in over a farm and you can see I came in at a uh, slow kind of pace heading towards this farm. Mostly a pretty straight shot. It's about 10 seconds long. Um, this would be a good one for us to do possibly if you've ever seen in uh, not just drone videos, other videos too where they may take something, play it at regular speed for a few minutes and then all of a sudden, boom, speed it up real quick and then slow back down again. So, in order to do some more complicated speed controls, what we need to do is select the clip by left clicking on it. We're going to right click, we're going to add retime controls. That will open up this little line here, which is at 100% it's the speed. Now let's right click one more time and click on retime curve. That's going to bring up this box here. Now, if we want to control the retime speed, we need to make sure that we go to the left and on this little box with like a triangle kind of pointed down, click on it and make sure we've got retime speed selected. So in order to change the speed, we're going to need some speed points along this thing. So we need to select where we want it to speed up. Let's say we want this clip to go along for a few seconds, two seconds here, and then right about here I want it to speed up. In order to add a speed point to it, we're going to go to this little line here, and then, it's kind of hard to see here, I'm going to click and then control plus plus. You don't have to do this, but so that you can get a little bit better idea. If you see here where it says 100, and then there's a the little dot here. That's what we're going to be working on clicking on, so I'm going to back it up. I'm going to put our mark where we want it, about two seconds in, 
Then I'm going to go to this little black dot here, and I'm going to left click on it, boom. And it's going to say add speed point. Boom, that's going to add a little spot here. Let's go up a little bit and do it one more time. Add speed point. Give it a little bit of space here. Let's stop that. Give it a little bit of space here. Add speed point here. And then I'm going to add one more here. Now the only reason why I'm adding four here is so that I have the ability with... Man, hold on a minute, let me back this up. And let me make sh Take off retail frames so that I can get speed here. Now, I can move these different ones left and right in time. When I have it set up like this, I can bring this up, and that is changing the actual speed here in the middle. So, let's see it one more time. Regular at 100%. So it kind of goes. So it kind of goes here at this speed. Pretty smooth shot. Let's see what it looks like if I speed this up a pretty good amount. I'm speeding it up to, if you can watch it down there, 234. Let's go to three times speed. And now this, if you notice, the line is a very abrupt speed. Let's see how that looks. Back it up a little bit so you get perspective. Now, this program, like most video programs, is pretty processor and RAM intensive, so it's going to kind of lag behind at times. So it may not play absolutely perfect while I'm screen recording here, but you can see that it has sped up. Besides the fact we've seen the clips, length has changed. Now, you can go to this area where it says 300%. That's showing you the top where the limit that you can see, but if you click on it, drag it to the right, it will give you more room to where you could drag this to be really, really fast if you wanted. You can also drag these sideways if you want, drag these sideways. One thing you can do, click on this and delete that one. So I'm going to undo that one real quick and give you an idea. Let's see how this looks. You notice how quick it jumps there. It goes from slow to a quick jump and there. So, there are also ways where if you click on one of these, you're now controlling that. I'm going to hit control plus to zoom out a little bit. That's keeping it with a straight line while pointed there. If I point it here, it's going to give me a little bit more of a curve. And then these to the sides of it allow you to stretch it out and make more of a curve. I can click on this one, then click the curve button. And then I've got the ability to stretch these out. Now I don't have as much room here. If I drag this out, I should be able to drag uh, let me drag that back out a little bit. Then get this one, then I should be able to drag it out. Now that will give me a little bit smoother. Just so you get a good chance to see what this is, I'm going to do this as a new fusing Fusion Connect clip just real quick so that you can see it without it lagging behind how that changed it how the it's still lagging a little bit let's go full screen and see what it looks like You can see how much faster the speed speeds up, though, even with this lagging behind. I'm going to undo making that a fusion clip just for now. Anyway, um, this is a 
you know, a basic level breaking it down. There's more you can get into with this speed control, and if you have questions, let me know. Thanks for checking this out. Hopefully it helped you. Um, if you need help with anything to do with drone videos, drop me a message, leave me a comment, check us out on the web, like and subscribe. Thanks, take it easy. Peace.